right, so back to the same position. As I mentioned, I like to invert a lot to set up whatever I want to try to do, especially with people doing a good job keeping their elbows in. I need to throw some kind of distraction. And the position that I like sometimes doesn't work. Sometimes people sit on a leg and your leg gets stuck. It is what it is. You have to go uh, something else. So that's why you need to be ready for all kinds of different reactions people have. Sometimes people might, might stand up or whatever. There are a lot of different reactions that, that your opponent might, might throw. So, but let's, let's, uh, let's go with this, uh, this one here. I'm gonna put my grip outside. As I mentioned, I vary both. I see myself using a lot more than outside. Some of the grips are going inside. As long as I'm this here, I feel like keep, I, I'm not a huge fan of staying here. I understand the cross face, but at least I need to, uh, I'll back it up with this here. For well, some moves are really good and to whip the arm and flip back, which is absolutely fine. There's no, there's not right or, or wrong here. But I do like the outside grip. Anyway, so I go, and now she starts to sit on my, my, my leg, and even though I'm moving, I can't, I'm having a hard time to get my leg out. It's gonna happen. Sometimes uh, uh, I'll be able to, sometimes not. So now I'm gonna try to do from here, when I let go, that means I'm ready to, to, to attack go to the sleeve. And this is a position that very popular. Uh, Shaolin used to use, uh, use the position a lot and I got a lot of those details with, with him and I started to kind of, I don't know, putting a little together being inverted. And as soon as I go this way, I'm gonna try to bring back that way and try to load. One of the details that I personally like is this leg here. So, this, uh, my, my right leg, the bottom one, shouldn't be too deep, right? It should look like that. It should be able to, to lift it up, and you'll be able to see why uh, this leg here helps. It eventually, for different attacks, too, to sweep that way, but for, from here, I go, boom. I was already in this position, or I could start the way I did. And then when I bring back, look at my right knee. This comes up. Because now this is what it makes light. Can I do it without it? Absolutely. I'm gonna have to rely on my hip a little more, but I still I still can do it. I just feel like I can utilize my hip a lot more when I when I load and I bring this this up. So as I mentioned, I can go from here. Arch because if she doesn't do anything, yeah. I can keep going that way. Right? And I'm always counting on people reacting, or maybe I was here, force into the sleeve. Sometimes it's gonna be a battle to bring this back, this is normal. But when I load, so pay attention to the right leg, I'm getting this all the way across the body and my knee coming up. So now it gets really light. If you're spending, not because Christina is lighter, of course, but if you feel like you're spending a lot of energy, uh, something might be a little off. Arch, when I bring back, my right knee starts coming up. And I'm still hooked though. The leg's still hooked. If you see my right foot here, it's still here. And I bring all the way across the body and make sure that the arm, I'm whipping this way, so if not, she's gonna post, now I'm gonna have to deal with this, which I still can, can go because of my hip, but it makes the job a lot easier when, when you can put your hip into it. Of course, ideal to be finished in the side mount, but it, you know, it's not always the main thing to get out of the bottom. Here, and then, when I bring this back, my knee starts coming up and pulling the top. If I stay here, it'd be too much energy pulling the top of me, my knee.
Hey, my name is Gustavo Dantas. I'm the president of Novignon USA, and I'm visiting the Novignon HQ at Upper and Rio, and watching Jets TV.